sleep. Damn, that's crazy. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm human, bitch. I'm going to react. I know people don't want a human reaction, but motherfuckers, I'm giving y'all a human reaction. Damn. Fuck. Shit. That works. Gotta get it out. The shit's gagging me. I'm sorry. Go ahead, baby. I'm an occupational therapist. I work with stroke victims, motor vehicle accident vic victims all day, every day. So it is not um, definite that cognitive issues from a motor vehicle accident are going to be permanent. Um, okay. Like the female was saying before, he could get therapy and recover, but it, I mean, it, the brain is is unique it can function with um trauma and sometimes it's going to malfunction to where it's going to be some permanent and, or residual damage so it really his brother didn't give us enough information to be able to make any determining Ooh. factors what is going to be the outcome we have no clue from what he said yeah, at least he I did had, say he's recovering. So I guess that exactly. So he did give us that little hint that things are getting better. Now I had a, a patient today, even that when she came to the hospital three days ago, she couldn't even speak. And today she's and cognitively there, fully functional. She wow. knows what she's talking about. She's talking about her history, everything. So she's good. So the the mind is a it's a miraculous machine <laughs> because you just never know. So we're just gonna keep praying um, because it is very likely that he come out of here unscathed, just with no problems at all. Maybe he'll have some residual um, problems, but we won't know until we get more information. Thank you so, so much for explaining that. You are welcome. Y'all have a great night. You too, Queen. Thank you, buddy. Oh my gosh, I think she ate that. She just gave me a little bit of more clarity because I'm like, Jesus. I like to hear from people that work in that field or currently in that field. You get what I'm saying? People that really have experience because she really ate that in a simple way for my high ass to understand because I done smoked about three fat blunts and I'm about to roll up another one. Y'all know we smoke like a chimney. So I'm going to let a couple more callers up. So if you have something you want to say on the Keith Jones situation, on the update from Keith's brother, I believe his brother's name is Kevin Jones, uh, from the update from Kevin Jones, you can come up in a queue. I want to hear from you before we move on to the next. Hey, Charlie. So she's absolutely correct. My daughter suffered from a, a massive grade four brain bleed when she was born. In which the doctors had told us, which is a bad, severe, which is one of the severest brain injuries. It, they told us that my daughter would never um, speak, would never be able to feed herself, would never be able to walk, talk, or any of that, and she would be a pretty much of a vegetable. And the doctors always give you the worst. And my daughter, um, they said she wouldn't live past three. She's 21. She can communicate with us. Now she cannot walk because she does have cerebral palsy, but her brain injury didn't affect her speech. To where she can, I mean, she's able to communicate. She can talk to an adult. She can say big words. She know how to talk. But I'm just saying the doctors never know. It's, it's going to be really up to Keith. You know, Keith can bounce back and um, and knows, like, my daughter, and when she was smaller, I used to think, oh, my baby's going to be a vegetable. But now that she's 21 and she succeeded everything that the doctors have said, even when I took mm -hmm. her back to see the doctor, he was like, he was shocked. So um, she was definitely correct. You just the the brain does what it wants, and one minute you could be in a vegetative state, and then you might just miraculously come up out of it. You know, God is the only person that can you know fix all of that. So I just pray that Keith is able to pull through, and I decree and declare with him that he heals. Yes, Amen. I'm late. I just shared an update from Keith Jones' brother. I just wanted to um, piggyback off the last caller. I was in a coma for 33 days. So, you know, when I woke up and if I listened to what them doctors had told me, you know what I mean? I probably would have died or couldn't have. It took me a year and a half to walk again. You know what I mean? So, and I'm back better than ever. So it's really on you. You know what I mean? I rebuke what all the motherfucker doctors told me. So it's it's really on you. And then I give God the glory. 
you know what I mean? I, I pray that they heal that man from his head to his toe. You know what I mean? I came on this app when the pandemic happened and I used to watch him in my wheelchair and I would watch him in my wheelchair and laugh. And now I work for some, I work for God Zeus. Oh, number one. Now I'm a personal assistant. This app is evil. You know what I mean? A lot of people in Empress family used to troll the shit out of me. When I was in the coma, I took, I changed my name, everything. So it's, it's, it's Thank real you. deep. I can hit you on the back end, but. Thank you. You said you worked for God Zeus. No, 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 no. I work for Gazoo's old number one. She ain't dead gang. I don't know if you know Pegasus. Dead gang. I work for her. I'm personal sister. I got off this app. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I work on the back end, but I listen to a lot of y'all, but I pray for him and I, I pray to heal him from, the, from his head, from his toe. You get what I'm saying? And I, I know if I, if I came up, you, I don't look nothing like what I've been through. And I, I pray the same thing happened to him. Periano, period. She ate that. Um, hey, Charlie, I just wanted to say um, if the brother was lying or if it was a fake brother, I feel like he would have made up all kinds of crazy injuries and statuses. He would have just been saying all kinds of crazy stuff. But this guy who's really precise, he still kept Keith's privacy by saying basically cognitive reasoning is not where it's supposed to be which at the minimum that just means the information he's taken in he may not really know what to do with it right now and it, that takes time but he didn't go in and stay in all kind of messy yeah. stuff and making up stuff so and it definitely was I, I confirmed believe it's his brother. that it's his brother it's, they have baby pictures together so for sure oh, okay mm -hmm. yep thank you love all right who's next go ahead jr JR. What's happening? I got a request. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um That's that on there, I guess. Shit, that just threw me the fuck off. Um, are we done? Is everybody, are we good? Somebody say they just came in. I'm sorry, y'all. Somebody had to text my phone. Can y'all hear me? Ah, thank you, Kenny K. I was just effing to ask for some gifts. You came, brother. That is so crazy how you read my mind. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, Kitty K, if you send one more, you got admin. Don't play with me. We need new admins. 2K, me down. You already a supporter of mine. I know who you are. All right, y'all. Share the live. Double tap the screen, y'all. We need um, 99 Maces. I'm going to replay what the brother, um, Keith Jones. This is an official update. So for the people that's just coming back, coming in here, I'm about to get into it. So if y'all didn't hear from the, um, if y'all didn't hear the update at all, put a one in the comments real quick. I want to see if a lot of people didn't hear. And then depending on that, I'll replay it. Thank y'all for the gifts. Thank y'all for the gifts. And in the meantime, between time, can we get some maces? Let's get some hot gifts. Oh, I need to replay it. Oh, God. Excuse me. All right, hold on. This came from Keith Jones' brother, Kevin Jones. Not from me. Not from nobody else. Not from nobody on Bigo. Not, not Auntie Tommy. Not Journey. Not nobody. This is directly the family, y'all. Thanks to everybody that's been inquiring oh, shit. about my brother and his health, the status of his health. 
Um, I know he has a huge fan base on some platforms, social media platforms, and I'm, I'm not involved in any of that. I'm just his brother. Um, that's a life outside of what we do here. Um, I'm his, his older brother, and um, he was in a very bad accident. Uh, a lot of fractures around his body, and his cognitive reasoning right now is not um, where it needs to be, but he's showing signs of progress um, for the sake of privacy. I don't want to get into any of his health issues right now, but just know that he needs your prayers and support at this point in time. So um, just pray for him and keep him in, in your prayers. And I'm hoping for the best, and we all are. Thank you. Best, and we all are. Thanks to everybody that's been inquiring about my brother and his health, the status of his health. Um, I know he has a huge fan base on some platforms, social media platforms, and I'm, I'm not involved in any of that. I'm just his brother. Um, that's life outside of what we do here. Um, I'm his, his older brother, and um, he was in a very bad accident. Uh, a lot of fractures around his body, and his cognitive reasoning right now is not... Um, where it needs to be, but he's showing signs of progress. Um, for the sake of privacy, I don't want to get into any of his health issues right now, but just know that he needs your prayers and support at this point in time. So um, just pray for him and keep him in, in your prayers. And I'm hoping for the best, and we all are. Thank you. So. Y'all heard it from Keith's brother, Kevin Jones, but let's say the let's um speak on the positive though in the situation. At least his brother did say it he is showing um progress. So do anybody wanna come up in the queue? The queue is open real quick. I wanna hear y'all opinions. Please be mindful. If you wanna try your best not to share a personal story when you share a personal story it seems to go left okay y'all most of the time or y'all prolong it okay all right y'all you gotta be mindful of that also okay y'all so we are kind of want to speak on keith so if you do want to offer an opinion i i'm not saying don't speak on nothing personal but reel that shit in y'all i'm not hold on y'all let me Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Hey, love bug. Hey, angels. Hey, um, thank you for bringing some some information that is directly coming from a reliable source, which is his brother. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody wants to know what's going on, whether for good reasons or bad reasons. I'm not going to share nothing personal. All I'm going to say is. Continue to pray for this man, whether y'all guys like him or not. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And yes. as y'all see, a lot of broadcasters and a lot of people are going through stuff on here. We get it in social media. He's done a lot of things, but a lot of people on this app has done a lot of things. No one deserves to go through what he's going through. This man has kids. Whether you like him or not, don't wish no bad on him. At the end of the day, we all brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? All, all I'm going to say is just regardless of anything, keep in mind you woke up today, somebody didn't, and life and death is in your tongue and it's very powerful. So all I would say is just continue to pray for Keith and continue to pray for his family. And thank mm -hmm. you, Charlie. We appreciate you. Thank you, Bethany. And we pray for you too, love, bug. Thank you, love. You as well. What's up, Karina? Hey, Charlie. I just want to say um, I'm not going to lie, I was not a fan of Keith. However, this situation is sad as hell. Like, and I just keep thinking about like how he would be on live right now. How it's been like two weeks coming up. Has he has not been on the app? Like, Big O is not Big O without Keith, whether you like him or not. And I'm really praying for Keith. It's just so sad because like Keith has done a lot of wrong, but I don't want to talk about that. It's just I'm just really praying for him, man. I'm really, I really am. 
I'm praying for him. Yeah, it's real sad. Like I do agree. I've been saying the same thing. Um, Bigo is definitely not the same without him. It's definitely a huge like. It's a huge void. So that's why I was like looking side eyes some of the bitches that support him want to come in here and talk shit about me. Like, bitch, you got other bitches on the chopping block that's been going in on him. I definitely been keeping it 100. You know what I'm saying? I was one of the last few people Keith Jones had read, and I've kept it 100. In this situation, put my personal feelings a fucking side and been respectful. And people still want to come in here and talk shit. It's just like, whatever. So I be trying to silence that shit out, but sometimes it get a fucking annoying. It really does. So I just thought to throw that out there. But um yeah, this is a sad situation and we are praying for him no matter what. I'm still praying for Keith because I don't wish this on nobody. I'm not one of those type of people that wish shit on people because it can come back to you. Especially when you wishing stuff on God's children. And when people wish stuff on me, it goes to them. So that's why I don't wish stuff on people, period. You get what I'm saying? And kiss me, guess what? You can kiss my ass, bitch. Correct ass name. Now kiss this fat ass and get the fuck out of my life. If I'm so fake, but you watching me with my fake ass. But you watching my fake ass, though. Thank you, kitty cat. But you're watching my fake ass. So what that make you? Faker than fake. That's what gets me about these bitches. If I'm fake, then you're faker. Then that's what gets me. Because I ain't watching no fake bitches. No shade. I watch bitches I like. We ain't watching no fake bitches. So, what you in here watching me for? Thank you. All right. Continue the show. So, I just don't understand that. When bitches see that I'm not speaking negative, I'm not dragging nobody, it's still fake. It's still this and that. Like, girl, you always in here watching me. Kiss Me Down is a whole weird troll-ass bitch that watches me every day. She wake up to come in here and tell me something about myself for being here watching me. Like, girl, what? Now, do what your name say and kiss my ass, okay? The fuck? All right, y'all. So, do anybody else got anything they want to say? I had to jump on to give y'all the update. Man, this shit is crazy. But like I said, at the end of the day, we're going to remain positive. And at least, Keith, at least, um, at least the brother said, um, Damn, this ganja got me fucked up. Um, what the brother say? Um, shit. At least the brother say it's some what you call it happening. Shit, a nigga lit. Pro yeah, progression. He was pro um progress. He was making progress. Smoking on that chronic honey. I did it. I'm smoking with you, bitch, but mine ain't made me forget yet. <laughs> the brother did say he, bitch, you over here, bitch. You smoking that amnesia. Okay, okay, so when the brother stated that he has fractures all over his body, you guys really got to understand this, man. Be, hold on, baby. Be, be easy. Why are you always in my life if you don't like me? Be easy on these nuts while you sucking them, bitch. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Tasha. They ain't got no badge. They got a whole spade, no badge. That's a shame. Okay, so I feel like, you know, looking at it, P had hit the car and flipped off his bike, and then he landed on that ground in the back of his head. I don't know if you guys know much about uh, traumatic brain injuries, but just a motherfucker hitting your shit with a, a beer bottle could fuck you up. A concussion can make you forget about things. I really hope and I pray for his family. I hope that his recovery is smooth. The progression that he's making is his body healing back up, you know? But you got to think about the long-term effects as well. This shit is serious. And it's a lot going on. And and those that knew him and love him, they're, they're not going to, he's not going to remember them the way he want, they want him to. Working. Why? It's Everybody gonna be saying the baby mama was twerking. No, they wasn't. I don't know. They said they was drinking and, and dancing and stuff, but yeah, they said that they was on live drinking. Nunu be on the baby mama live, Kiki and then Kat Kat and like Peanut and Yvette off a of baby boy, bitch. It's crazy. I don't know. Be going motherfucker. 
But this shit like baby boy. But I really just hope um y'all just keep his family in y'all prayers. That's all you can do. And those that that dislike him and wishing the D word, that shit always comes tenfold. This universe is a motherfucker. For real, for real. You can say, bitch, I hope I hope they crash that car and next week your car gonna get knocked. Like be cool on what you say. But man, this man is not gonna remember a lot when he come back. If he ever comes back, Charlie. For real, for real. So Y'all look up traumatic brain injuries. This shit is serious. Your skull can only take, it, it can only take so much of an impact before it really fucks you up. So y'all take care. Be safe out there, man. Oh my God, Jesus. Oh my God, Jesus. Why y'all got me like, oh my gosh, y'all. Why she just made it just hit it hit it at home. Damn. Shit. What does TBI stand for? Oh, traumatic brain injury. I have to think about it. Damn. I, I also wanted to add that our brains serve so many different things for different parts of our brain. The front part, it can mess with your speech, the way you talk. The back part of your head can mess with, you know, your memory, your things like that. The side of your shit, it can affect the other side. Like I'm telling you, your brain is so fragile, y'all. So fucking fragile. Like, y'all. No helmet. This man is going through a lot. And y'all, I'm telling you, the word you speak is a powerful, a powerful thing, bro. Watch what y'all say on this app. Because that shit will go to your kids. It'll go to your mama, your daddy, your grandma. This man will never be the same. And he has children. So, man, y'all be cool. Be safe this weekend. Don't drink and drive. Watch out for other riders. Watch out for motorcyclists. Like, everybody got a family. For real. Hey, I'm a retired nurse. I was a nurse for over 15 years. And when I seen the little, the little clip of the brother, the older brother, and what he said about the cognitive issues and stuff like that, it's like, okay, he's, he's covering up the little cognitive issues for brain damage. That's what cognitive issues, that's what doctors tell you, cognitive. But that's brain damage. So he's been in for like over what two weeks like this in the same position, and it it's just not good. You can't go a day without any brain function, let alone two weeks or over two weeks. So it's really sad and it's really messed up. But I've seen so many families that try to keep their loved ones alive or try to keep them on life support or try to keep them still because they because they're there physically but they're not there mentally but so miracles can't happen though you know that's all i mean i get what you're saying though to be realistic but I don't know. yeah oh, oh yeah yes miracles can happen but how often do they happen you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like yeah, you can see some miracles, but when you get to talking about what they're talking about, that's going on, what happened to him with no um helmet or nothing in that accident like that. I mean, I just think it's it's really sad. Uh, it's really sad. Yeah, but I do know Alma so, Watts is recovering, and she was in a real bad a sixteen wheeler and hit her or something like that head on. What's up, Kitty? So I just want to say I currently work in healthcare and currently work with patients um, from every walk of life, including patients that have traumatic brain injuries. So let's not, I understand we all have an opinion and stuff like that. Let's not speak into existence that he doesn't have any brain activity. We don't know that. And yes, the frontal lobe is, you know, the front of your brain, the side, every function of your brain serves for a different purpose for your body mechanics to work. That's basically how it goes. But let's not put out there that he doesn't have any brain activity. We don't know that just yet. 
I have worked with a lot of patients that have come in with traumatic brain injuries, and I have watched these people walk out of the hospital. God has the final say in everything. Let's just hold this man up and let's just continue to pray for him. Yes, it's sad. Yes, it's devastating. Yes, he took a hard hit to his head, but I've been in healthcare for 20 plus years. I've seen the worst of the worst, and I've seen a lot of people walk away from trip, like horrendous accidents. So let's just keep him in prayer. That's all I want to say. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Hey, Charlie. Um, this is Samantha again. Um, I one day I would love to have the opportunity to tell you my story because I'm and you've seen my pictures, you've seen how I look. I'm not saying you know I'm a beauty queen, but you would be surprised that I look the way I look, I don't look like what I've been through. And right now, today, my doctors are saying I'm a miracle. I'm walking, I'm talking, I'm functioning, I'm doing everything the average human being is doing. But I would love to share with you the things I have brain damage right now, you know, but I function just like the average person because I trust and believe in his word that he said he would never leave me nor forsake me. Oh, you know, so let's take this and we can even remove it. Maybe okay. it maybe it'll be good one day for people that really need an outlet to talk about what they're going through personally. You know what I'm saying? Because it's such a taboo on here. You can't tell anybody you have a toothache and then they're going to read more into it. You know, they're going to oh, she got herpes in the teeth. And you know what I'm saying? Just silly stuff. But like I said, I would love to share my testimony with you. Because like I said, I am a walking testimony. I am a living testimony. And every day that I, me personally, open my eyes, all I can do is sometimes cry because I said, thank you, Lord, I made it through the night. So that's what I want us to hold on to the positive things that his brother said and don't add any of the the speculation of what could be because we don't know what God plan is. You know, he could come out of this better than before and we'll be like, well, what happened? God happened. You know, yeah. so that's all I wanted to share with you. And like I said, I would love one day to sit down and, you know, just like yesterday, I went to my doctor. I had to pick, get prescriptions. I had to get 22. I'm on 22 different medications. Wow. So, but wow. that's, that's what I wanted to share with you. Well, thank, thank you so much, so Samantha. Much. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. Our God is good. What's up, Carmel? Oh, I wanted to say one more thing. Um, so I noticed that people are saying that he has no brain activity. Um, my stepmom went through that. In order for them to know he has no brain activity, they would have to do a brain stem test. A lot of the times they unhook you from the life support. If you don't breathe on your own or if you never come back to then, of course, or they'll do a sternum test where they rub your chest area really, really hard to see if you're going to flinch or if you're going to have any type of um, movement or whatever. So my stepmom, she was completely brain dead. She had no brain activity. When they unhooked her, we're in Arkansas, when they unhooked her from the life support to see if she would have any any type of you know, reaction to the sternal test, there was no reaction. Once they unhooked her from the life support, she was not able to get put back on life support. It was state law. So because she was declared brain dead and the machine showing that the machine was doing all of the work, then there is no way they could hook her back up. So I don't know if that's how that works everywhere, but maybe, you know, certain areas. But I just want to throw that out there, too. All right. Y'all got to take my hints, y'all. No more personal stories, y'all. I love y'all, but it's we was really... We... I feel like y'all be trying to set up and it comes off. 
it be trying to, and it can come off as one way, and I be trying to help y'all help me. Like, I'm trying to tell y'all, like, we got to keep it. It comes off a certain, you know what I'm saying? We talking about Keith, y'all. Like, you know what I mean? Like, am I tripping? I know I love the person. I get it, but we got to we gotta make sure it, reel it in. Make sure if you're saying this, okay, end it off with, okay, but this Keith, da, 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 da. you get what I'm saying? Or just, I don't know if I'm tripping. All right, what's up, Kim? And then I'm lit, too. So if you're going to tell a person a story, one hey. to two minutes, y'all. One to two minutes. What's up, Kim? I was just going to say, one thing he has in his favor is, other than, um, you know, people praying for him, he's very physically fit. And one test they do neurological with uh, patients is they will put ice water in your ear and see if you have a reaction to that. And it sounds crazy, but outside of, you know, like normal scans and stuff like that, he's a physically fit person and he has a stronger shot than someone who may be older or debilitated. So, you know, it may take him a while, but he could fully recover. People do that every day. And I, you know, pray for him and his family that, you know, he has a positive outcome. And that's all I wanted to say. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Damn, man. Yeah, y'all, I'm just so, <clears throat> I'm just stuck on the fact that we, this update, it just gags me. So when we hear personal stories, it's taking us off of, you get what I'm saying, y'all? And then some of y'all be traumatizing us with the certain stories and certain things. I think a woman was saying something about, she was telling us the story, then she started saying how, her relatives survived and she was saying something about how he's mad or something. It's just certain things she just should have been, I don't know. You can't tell nobody how to tell the story, but it's just like, this ain't that time, I guess. That's what I'm saying. I just wanted to say, let's be hopeful, let's pray for him, but also let's be realistic. He's not out of the hospital. Bitch, he's why not you going to be Have a good motherfucking day. Have a good motherfucking day. How the fuck is she in my motherfucking life? Girl, you just motherfucking... That must be a glitch. How was she able to be in my motherfucking life? I click her profile, say no content. That means she got me motherfucking blocked. How the fuck is that possible? The bitch must have just blocked me. You ain't finna speak up on my motherfucking shit. Have a good fucking day. Pack her the fuck up. Yeah, I'll review everybody that come up in my shit. That's why if you come up in my queue... You're going to see that I viewed your profile. Don't feel special. That's E for every motherfucking body. You click my motherfucking two people at the bottom, bitch. You getting a view from Charlie. Don't think I'm stalking your fucking page and don't try to storyline that. Everybody get a view. You get a re thorough review, honey. And I saw no content. That means... Have a good day. <laughs> have a good day for real hi charlie love hi angel i just want to say you did a great job period you packed that shit up you are so good with your memory charlie you are so fucking good you were like hold on a second but anyways i love how you deliver your messages honey and you are a great broadcaster and to the people talking about oh we already heard that or somebody else covered that we don't give a fuck nobody covers news like charlie we don't give a last ass if we heard it 10 times. The way Charlie explains it, and one thing I really like about you, Charlie, you're very fair. You're very, very fair, and you look at the whole entire story. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck if Tommy Kate spoke about it for two days. I want to hear Charlie speak about it. So, I love you. Bye. Oh. <clears throat> Damn. She was going to say... Lucinda, thank you, Lucinda. Who y'all is a key today? Y'all is key and key and key and key and key. I cannot believe that girl came up in the queue talking about um talking, trying to come up in here and after the fucking opinion and got me blocked. So girl, how the fuck you gonna sit in my room and block me? How you gonna sit in my room and block me? Like what? P hasn't talked to his brother for years. Why would he discuss it? Wait, are you sure? This the brother that he haven't talked to? Can you update us, please? We just came in. Hold on. We all are. Thanks to everybody that's been inquiring about my brother and his health, the status of his health. Um, I know he has a huge fan base. 
on some platform, well, social media brother, platform. Probably, fam, um, I'm not shit. involved in any of Family that. Shit, I'm just his brother. Um, that's a life outside of what we do here. Um, I'm his, his older brother. And um, he was in a very bad accident. Uh, a lot of fractures around his body and his cognitive reasoning right now is not um, where it needs to be but he's showing signs of progress um, for the sake of privacy I don't want to get into any of his health issues right now but just know that he needs your prayers and support at this point in time so um, just pray for him and keep him in, in your prayers and I'm hoping for the best and we all are thank you yeah, it's like an emergency just happened. Fuck what y'all heard in the press about their relationship. And somebody said they just went fishing together. So I feel like stuff like that don't matter. That's family shit. I ain't speaking on that. I'm speaking on the fact that his brother put out a... And you could tell he's sincere. No shade. So this is... It's what it is. And everybody was trying to jump the gun and come at me out. I'm disappointed in you. This This... Weird bitch gonna come in my motherfucking live looking like Freddy fucking Cougar. Gonna come up in my motherfucking live in the comments. I'm like, oh, Charlie, I'm disappointed in you. Feeding into some fake news on Keith. These bitches at this point, y'all be so fucking delusional. Y'all starting to act like Keith haters. Bitch, what? How you gonna be mad at me for putting out the truth, bitch? That came from the family. You should be fucking happy that a, a motherfucking top broadcaster is actually putting out something correct. But you want to come up here and be delusional. That part. Hey, Charlie. Okay, so I just wanted to say, too, because um, it was hard for me to focus on what the brother was saying from everybody in the comments. Talking about he handsome and shit. Like, sluts be slutting. They don't care what kind of emergency going on. They're going to try to focus on looks. And then what's crazy is half these hoes, if that nigga had a big old account, they'd be talking about them fucked up teeth. I don't know if y'all caught that and some more shit. But uh, I digress. Let me get out. No, it's like you bitches must not really even know this man. Because you would know that look like Keith. That's Keith Jones mannerism. That is his fucking brother. Shit. One thing you can't lie about is Dana. DNA. Okay? Look like him. Act like him. Swag just like him. You can tell that's Keith big brother. Shit. Just like Chris Sean and all her fucking sisters. They all act alike, look alike. Got the same swag. That is just how it is. If you got multiple siblings, you know how that shit is. It don't mean you copying your siblings shit you was in the household with your siblings. You gonna grow up just like them. Just like um Cardi B and Hennessy. People be like, Hennessy copy off of Cardi B. No, nah, Hennessy always been a crazy bitch just like Cardi. They always been weird and crazy. Alright, so, um, anyways, do anybody else got anything to say in the closing remarks? I um, I came on here to say what I needed to say. We will recap a little bit of this tomorrow for my morning shift. My evening audience is not the same audience as the morning time. So I will um, put this on the recap in the morning for the people that missed it. Um, and the people that tune in in the morning times. And also, we got a lot of other topics to get into. 